Hey guys, so I am starting off my first vlog of 2020 in London. So me and my brother have bought tickets to go see Day6. Um, if you don't know who they are, they are a K-pop band and actually the first time that I ever saw them or even had heard of them was when I went to KCON New York with my friend Jasmine back in 2016. So it's been four years since I've seen them. Cut the tape. Wow, rude, rude. <laughs> There's my brother in the background. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> it's been four years since I've seen them and I found out they went to London last year for their last tour and I missed them. So this year I was like, I gotta be on this, I gotta get tickets, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so now we're finally here and it's finally happening. Um, and I'm so excited, but uh, sadly, not really sadly, but like still kind of inconvenient is that we're here two days early in London. Um, so we kind of need stuff to do um, before the concert. And obviously like uh, the day of the concert's gonna be like a full day of like basically standing in line for all day and then finally the concert. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna like split this vlog into multiple videos or just do it all in one, depending on what I do in the next couple of days and also how much I film. So uh, yeah, we'll just kind of see what happens. We're playing Overcooked. I can't play Overcooked. Wait, you be first. Okay, you're over there. Dude, rice first. Yeah. Rice first. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Wow. A few moments later. Two hours later. Are we just going and going? Yeah. <gasps> Is it survival mode? No, it's practice mode. Practice mode? Yeah. Seriously? I'm back at the hotel now. Um, as you saw, wow, rude <laughs> lighting outage. Um, yeah, as you can see, we're back at the hotel and uh, we just spent the day going around Oxford Street and shopping and things like that. Um, and I was googling to see if there was like any K-pop stores or anything around here because originally I wanted to go to HMV to see their K-pop section, but we went to HMV on Oxford Street and it is closed. Um, so I googled and I found this like really tiny K-pop shop and they didn't really have a lot of things but i would say that they would have more things than like my local hmv um it was very bts focused which i feel like is a theme for most places that sell k-pop items because bts is the most popular now so it's a good bet that my brother is like dancing in the corner here being a weirdo um but yeah it's a good bet that if you have bts stuff people will know who they are and are more likely to buy them do you want to join me in this unboxing or are you just like Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically BTS heavy because everyone loves BTS. So there's more chance of them moving the stock. Whereas if you pick like less popular people, there's less chance people are going to buy it. Um, which does kind of suck for people that like like really niche groups or like the new or like rookie groups or like people like that. Um, just because it's really hard to buy their stuff unless you go online. But yeah, anyway, uh, we were at the shop and I decided to treat myself to 
this day six album this is their newest one which is entropy and i thought i would do like a little bit of an unboxing of this um and i'm also going to do like an unboxing of their light stick light band <laughs> yeah so i mean i mean light band not light stick um but yeah i didn't get this uh in london i got this from korea online <gasps> because um side commentary from my brother um but yeah, so there's a whole story that goes along with the whole light band thing. I'm not going to get into it, but let's just say that it was really hard to get these and I was really worried they were going to get delivered after the concert. Um, but they came in time, so it's all right. So I thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing for you guys. Um, and also, I just want to say that they're not selling the light stick at the concert, which is really weird. Um, someone says it has something to do with the battery in the light bands because they're like rechargeable and it's harder to ship them over so we don't get them um so i'm really glad that i decided to get mine online because i'll at least have it and feel like i'm part of the grip even though i feel like a lot of people don't actually have their light band because it's really hard to get so we'll see what the concert's like anyway i think people are talking about getting glow sticks and stuff to make up for the fact that they don't have light bands um but yeah anyway this part of the vlog is going to be really long because I'm rambling um so let's just like get into the unboxing did you want to join <laughs> you just no, gonna, like... to okay fair just watch the vlog like everyone else bro <laughs> but I'm in the room <laughs> um yeah so like this what it looks like without the plastic on it just get like a better view better vibe the lighting in here is amazing I'm just gonna say because like I love that um but yeah, ooh, okay. I love that I open it right away and you can like see all the like stuff I get. Okay, so no, first of all, that. we get this envelope like this. Pretty I kind of love it. It says entropy on the back. Does it have anything inside? <gasps> ooh, wait. It has something. <gasps> ooh, Sungjin. Cute postcard of Sungjin. Um, the back's blank, obviously. Um, so there's that. And then I Let's also got... <gasps> It's Jung K. It's like it's sweet chaos. Oh, I love that. And then like obviously this lift, so it's like, oh, beautiful, beautiful. And then the other two little things I got are, oh look, it's One Pill and Jay. Oh my God, they're so cute. Okay, so this one of One Pill and this one of One Pill and Jay. These are so adorable. Um, yeah. So these are really cute. I love those as well. And then obviously, you know. The book itself, all the pictures and stuff. Um, this is like the middle of the book, so you can just see Young K just looking like so fab right there. Um, and uh, yeah, I actually really like the Day Six albums just because they're like so pretty. And then obviously, like the CD looks like this. They did have the other version of Entropy, but I decided to go with like this one, and uh, I almost was not gonna get it but then i saw everyone at the milan show like who got vvip they got the signed album and it was like this one and i saw it was so pretty um i did not get vvip so i will not get the signed cd i will just get the high touch um but yeah at least i'll have this even though it's not signed but yeah so that was that so now i'm moving on to the light band this is the box that it came in i'm actually like obsessed with this like this is like really pretty um i don't really know what the other light band boxes look like um although i'm pretty sure they all look like black pinks um but this like this is nice this is quality this is i just love it so much um so yeah um opening her up this is what the light band looks like for day six um not really sure why they only have a light band and not a light stick um but they just do um so it looks like that um and then the other things you get in the box are your little like instruction leaflet in korean and like looks like this on the back and then you also get like your little charging cable to go with it and it just charges with a micro usb which is what like old samsung phones were charged with so that that's be. cool um and so yeah um like I said, this is the wristband. I think it looks really nice and actually uh, I'm going to wear it instead of my Fitbit to the concert because I feel like this is like my hand that I use for most things. So like this is what, um, this is the wrist. I'm going to put it on for the concert. And um, yeah, uh, the last thing I wanted to show you about this is just to show you like how bright this is. So like if we just like turn off all the lights for a second. Yeah, so now it's like really dark and now I'm going to just like, <gasps> yeah. 
So like this is how bright this light is. Like hello. Like I'm literally like look at this. This is how bright this light is. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Um, and then obviously you got your three modes. So you have like this light. And then oh this is kind of a funky light with the purple. Oh my god I love that. <laughs> um, and then like the flashing. And then like the super flashing. So yeah that is the light band unboxing. Um, so yeah. Uh, I guess that brings us to the end of this portion of the vlog. Um, I don't really know how much I filmed today, so I don't know if this is like the end of the first vlog or if this is like conjoined with the second video. I don't know. Um, part of me really wants to make the actual Day 6 concert video um, like a separate video because um, we're going to be there all day, but um, I can't say for sure, so yeah. I guess this is the end of this portion of the vlog. Hey guys, so it is our second day in London and uh, one day until day six, so I'm super excited. Um, we don't really have plans today, although the first thing that I want to do today is actually go to the venue where the concert's going to be, just so I know how to get there and things like that. Um, and then I think we're going to go on the um, Emirates Airlines ski lift thing, um, which I went on the last time I was here in London with my boyfriend. Um, so we'll do that to kind of get a higher view of London uh, and then maybe stop by King's Cross Station uh, to see the Harry Potter store because my brother's never been there. Uh, I know that it kind of seems that we're all over the place in London, literally just like here, there, everywhere because like Brixton is far away from the Emirates thing and the Emirates thing is really far away from King's Cross but honestly with the underground system in London it makes it so much easier to like travel places. This is very unplanned. Yeah, and also we didn't really like plan what we were gonna do properly. Otherwise, it probably would have been like a smoother system um, But yeah, so those are kind of our plans today. Maybe get bubble waffle in Chinatown um, And yeah, those are kind of our plans originally we did want to go see Mary Poppins tonight But the last minute tickets are super expensive, so we're not gonna do that um, But yeah, we'll probably find something to do and take you guys along with us Oh my god guys, tomorrow day 6 is going to be like right here! Yes! We are here in Greenwich and we are going to go on the like ski lift thing across the Thames. Though it looks like it's busy because it's a weekend. Oh hi everyone! Ohio. Love that. Look at us go! Off we go! Are you recording that in 4K? No, I'm not recording it in 4K. Are you recording it in 4K? Yeah. Look at this dish over here recording oh, a 4K. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's no one in that one. Oh, wait, there is. There's one guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so like, we're about to go see the view from London above. Hi. I love that you just recorded me. <laughs> it's so weird though, because like over here, everything looks far away. But then I turned to Yui and it's just like so close to your face right now. <laughs> Other side. We lived. We didn't die. <laughs> Don't tell me my hair is Honestly, me, the likelihood of us dying on this is like very slim. And if it was high, then I don't think that we would like be on it right now. Just saying. <laughs> don't know what we're doing after this. Probably getting food. But yay! We've come back to the cute little Korean store because my brother wants to get this or not day six stickers, BTS stickers. <laughs> They got a cute little bag. Hey, <laughs> love that. <laughs> Ryan, you can do a haul when we get back later.
We're here in Chinatown. We are looking for some bubble waffle. Are you excited about that? Oh yeah, bubble waffle. <laughs> That bubble waffle. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, now you can eat it. <laughs> so I'm back at the hotel again, and I'm going to do another little London haul because it seems like the only thing that we've done since we got here was like go shopping. Um, but yes. Yeah, so today we sort of went on a hunt for like some specific stores, um, and they're all like Korean related stores except for like one Harry Potter one. Um, so yeah, so the first place we went to is Soko Lab. Um, this is the place we went to yesterday where I got my Gravity album. Um, so that tiny little K-pop store. And this time my brother went because he wanted some BTS stickers, which I'm going to show you. Because um, they're in here. My brother's like sitting in the corner here. He didn't want to be in the hall. So I'm just going to show you what he got as well. I'm just here to make noises. Yeah, he's just here to make side commentary. Yeah, so moving on, we have um, the thing that I got whenever I was in the store. So I picked up this little face mask just to use tonight because um, I got to be looking fresh for day six. Um, so I got that and then my brother got some stickers. Um, these are all BTS ones in their collaboration with, I think it was Forever 21 because it says B21 on them. Um, but yeah, so we got these. So we got this one and this one. I think you got the stickers for like all the members. I just got a pile of stickers. Actually, you didn't get all of them because. No, I didn't buy them all. They're yeah, all there's like... only like five of them. Yeah. Um, I'm not being a bully. This one as well, and also this one. Dude, you pay one ninety five for all of these, like mm -hmm. each. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. So he got like five sticker sets because he saw them yesterday. So yeah, all of the BTS stickers. Don't really know what he's gonna do with them, but yeah. What are you gonna do with all these stickers, bro? That's for me to you. That's for me to know and not you to know. I guess I don't know. Something. Wow. Okay. So he got those, and also keeping the bag. The bag is really pretty as well. I just want to point that out. Um, so that's cute. Uh, then after that we went to Oseo which um, is like a Korean grocery store. Uh, we didn't actually get anything there. We just wanted to go have a bit of a nosy. And uh, someone in the day six chat also recommended that we go to the store that's next to Oseo, which is like, um, it's called like House of Magic, I think. And basically it just has like a bunch of Harry Potter stuff because originally we were gonna go to King's Cross Station today to check out the Harry Potter store there. But um, we decided to leave that to like Monday. Um, just cause like we done a lot of traveling today and like it just seemed like a lot to travel out to King's Cross Station to go see that one thing. So we're just gonna do that on Monday. Um, but anyway, went to this Harry Potter store and we got some stuff there. Um, so the first thing that my brother got was a Hufflepuff tie. Um, it looks like this. Um, pin. It's kind of like moved in the box or maybe that's just like the pin. label or something. Um, but that's what it looks like. Obviously it looks like a Hufflepuff tie. Um, if you've seen Harry Potter then you kind of know the gist. Um, there's that. And then he also got these two badges. He got a Slytherin one and he also got a Hufflepuff one. Um, so that's that. And then I also got some stuff there. So I got, well, technically one of these is my brother's, but we got these uh, two little like potion bottles um, filled with bath salts. And it is called Tranquility Tonic. And it also says like sleep deprivation on this because that's like such a mood. Um, but yeah, these are like bath salts which are really cool. Um, it reminds me of like when you were little and you used to like go into your bathroom and you make like potions with all your bath stuff. Um, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, 
I decided to get those because it reminded me of that. And then I also got um, these other bath salts here, um, which are like supposed to help when you have a cold or something and again that's like such a mood because like I feel like I'm bound to get sick on this trip like I was feeling sick a few days ago before we left um to come to London and like I feel like after the concert and being around lots of people and stuff I'm just gonna get sick so um I got these as well and then the last thing that I got at that shop are these love drops um that look like this and uh they're just like strawberry millions um so there's that as well. Uh, I thought I'd get these just because I haven't had millions in forever. And I saw them and I realized like, oh, these are millions. That's cool. So yeah, decided to treat myself to those. And then the very last shop that we went to is Artbox, which is basically just like this super, like really cutesy Japanese type store. Um, They had like lots and lots of like Hello Kitty things and like all these other like plushies and things like that. It was actually insane but I also kind of loved it um so we went there and I picked myself up a t-shirt um as you can see it's like Pusheen X art box um I think they did a collab with them because literally like half the store is Pusheen stuff um and then the thing I got was actually Pusheen as well so um yeah I just got this like cute little t-shirt which is probably going to be a pajama t-shirt because it's a large um but it just says hi and then on the back of it it also says bye um which i thought was like super cute i don't know it just seemed kind of stupid but also adorable so i decided to get that as well um and so yeah that brings us to the end of this haul for today um we're back at the hotel for the night so we're probably just gonna chill and get some pizza um tomorrow is day six day and that's gonna be a whole day of queuing i don't think i've explained this properly before but like yeah so apparently we have to queue in the morning um until one o'clock when they give us a wristband the wristband will be numbered once we get our wristband then we can leave and then we'll come back later and i think we're supposed to line up again in the order we got our wristbands like according to the numbers um so yeah, basically the whole day is queuing until 1pm, getting the wristband, then leaving, then coming back for the concert, then actually having the concert, um, and then our high touch. So yeah, tomorrow is going to be kind of insane, kind of crazy. I don't know how much I'm going to vlog, and I'm supposed to be meeting a lot of people in my day 6 Twitter chat, hopefully. Um... But my thing is, is that I don't know what any of them look like because they all have fandom accounts. Um, so that'll be interesting. And realistically, because they're fandom accounts and they don't really want people to know who they are, they're probably not going to want to be on film. Um, so yeah, we'll just like see what happens with that. Good morning, guys. It's currently 10 past 7 in the morning. And we are about to go on our way to queue up for day 6. Um, yeah, so according to the group chat and everything, there's been people queuing from like 2am and it's quite a long line now, but also it's just one line, so they haven't split us into VVIP, VIP and GA yet. Um, and also from the group chat, we're getting on official numbers this morning and there's only about 30 VIP people there already. Um, so yeah, that gives me hope. Um, like I said, we're on our way down now and, uh... Yeah, let's uh, get this day of queuing started. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> We're here at the O2 Academy again, oh, and uh, okay. <laughs> there's already a line. What? Why did they end up on this side? They weren't lined up on this side the last time. That was different. That was a different event, idiot. Um. So yeah, the line's already like <laughs> the whole way down here. Oh my god. Apparently they're giving out unofficial numbers and there's tents up and everything. This is wild. I mean, I think I've seen people like this before and I've always been like, who does that? But well, guess what? I'm doing it. So yeah, super fun. Can't wait. Number 67. This is like unofficial numbering. You know what I'm And about? what? I think, what it's really I think it's 69. Rip. Um, yeah, so like this is unofficial numbering, but apparently we're getting more unofficial numbering. It, uh, yet. So like, yeah, there's a lot of numbers going on today. Oh, no. 
<laughs> hey guys, so we're back at her hotel, um, but only for like an hour because we literally have to be back at the venue at four because the doors open at five and it's now three um, in the afternoon. We were literally queuing from like half seven and it was kind of insane and yeah um i don't really know what else to say i feel like my brain's not really working right now because i literally haven't drank or eaten anything today um so that's what's going on we came back to our hotel so that we could chill and like sit down because literally standing since half seven in the morning is not a cute thing not a cute thing oh thanks okay um so yeah so basically you know, we were in the line. We made friends with people in the line. It was really chill. Thanks we had this whole numbering debacle, which I won't really get into right now because it's too long to explain. Um, but yeah, so like, first of all, we had these unofficial numbers. And then these other people came around giving us unofficial wristband numbers. Um, like this. And as you can see, like, my numbers crossed out. So, long story short, two people decided to do numbering for the line and it wasn't really working so we all just like decided to wait for the official numbering and so we finally got the official numbering which is hold on while i swap hands i'm like filming the opposite direction to what i normally film so like this is awkward um but yeah so we have our vip wristbands and so yeah we're back at the hotel just trying to charge up our phones and try to like get food before we have to go back to the venue um also while we were waiting in line they opened up merch which is really cool so um my brother's showing the gravity hat right now. Um, yeah, but I thought I'd quickly show you guys kind of what the merch was. Um, I literally bought like half the stand, not gonna lie. I literally went in and I had this huge ass order for these girls to like give. So um, my brother wanted a hat, so I got him a hat. And we also got the black gravity t-shirt. Show the back, yes, looking fab. Um, and then we got like stickers. Um, like these ones. I didn't realize they were going to be this big, but when I first saw them, I was like, cute, I'll get two sets. So like one set of stickers for my planner. Um, these are way too big for the planner that I have and another set for just like memory keeping purposes. Um, but yeah, so I got those. And then I also got the gravity hoodie. Bro, can you please do the thing? <laughs> yes, this is the gravity hoodie. Um, it's like this on the back, so I'm going to wear that later on. Um, and then uh, I also got this tote bag, which is like this. Yeah, so literally I spent like so much money on merch, it's not even funny. Um, and yeah, we also got like a couple of freebies. So I got things like this from people online, which I think is really cute. Um, I love that people do this. And then also like the day six banners, which like the fan clubs make and stuff. I think K-pop concerts are so cool and like so communal like that. Like we like kind of freebies in the line, like, you know, we make banners, we make like badges and things like that. Like it's so cute that we have like all these fan projects and stuff. Um, oh yeah, and like these little photo cards too. Mine are on my purse so I can't show you guys, but yeah. I just wanted to say that like, <laughs> look at this tiny little J sticker. Definitely oh, he's so cute. Oh my God, I spoke on my face, hold on. <gasps> there it is. Um, but yeah, anyway, like I was saying, everything uh, at K-pop concerts and stuff is so communal and everyone's so supportive of each other and stuff. And honestly, if we didn't have people in line to talk to, um, I feel like I would have like run out of energy a long ass time ago. But um, here I am rambling, trying to like sort my life out. Um, and so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. And I didn't really film that much when we were like in line because it's like, hi, I just met you people. And I think it's really weird to just like film. So um yeah anyway uh hopefully the next time you see us we'll probably be back in line but it'll be exciting because we'll be so much closer to day six um literally when we were outside we actually heard them doing sound check um which is crazy because we didn't even like see them come to the venue so they must have like snuck in somehow or something um but yeah gonna get food now wish us luck and pray for our legs because we've been standing all day
guys how's it going i am post concert back at the hotel just chilling in my hoodie my brother is ordering food off camera um and so yeah uh i don't really know where to begin with this concert like at all um first of all we had a really good standing position um basically whenever we went back to the line after we had had food um, we were originally told to, you know, go back to where you were standing originally, but no one was really following that system, nor was anyone paying attention to the numbers on our wristbands, because the whole point of, like, waiting from 7am to 1pm to get your wristband was that, you know, you had a number on it, um, and that meant that it was a lot easier to get back in your place in line, but... You know, then there were people in front of you who were like number 500 and you were over here like, bitch, I'm number 83, what the hell? Um, but it all kind of worked out. We kind of like snuck our way closer to the front and um, yeah, we were like four or five rows from barrier. Um, so that was really good. We were mostly on the side where Jay and Sungjin were. Um, however, I couldn't really see Sungjin because of the people directly in front of me, but I saw some Jay when he was actually at his microphone half the time he was like in the very corner of the stage and I couldn't see him. Um, I always had a good view of Dion because he's like on his little like drum pedestal in the middle so I could always see him. And I could also have a pretty good view of Young K and I didn't really see that much of Wampil because he was at the far side of the stage. Um, but yeah, like it was just such a fun time and it was like really hype and I just like loved it so much. Um, and I just like, I just, I, it's such a blur. Like, I think I'm still in shock with everything. I don't really know how I am feeling. <laughs> it's just so weird. Like, it hasn't really hit me. Everything's just, like, adrenaline, I guess. I'm just like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, like, it was just ugh, it's so crazy. And, like, they all have, like, such different stage presence. Like, Jay was, like, rocking around, like, running around all over the place, just, like, being a madman. And then, like, you had Sungjin, who was just, like, standing there kind of chill. Um, and then, like, obviously, Dion's, like, just doing his own thing on his drum pedestal. And then, like, Young K is, like, spending time jamming with Dion, but also, like, you know, uh, trying to get crowd engagements. And then, obviously, like, I couldn't really see one pill, but I imagine he was doing his own thing on the keyboards. Um, they all had, like, their own little solo moment to shine, which was really cute, and, like, they all, like, introduced themselves and talked to us. Um, One Pill was the only one who used a, like, interpreter, um, because he was speaking in Korean. I guess he's the one that's not the most confident with his English, but I thought it was, like, so adorable, and he is just, like, such, like, the quietest, like, little soft voice, and it's just, like... Oh, he was just saying really cute things that it was really adorable and I loved it so much. Um, and Duyon's English is actually quite good too. Like, I thought that was good. And Sungjin too. Oh my god. Sungjin. <laughs> Babe. Oh, I loved it so much. And obviously, you know, Young K is amazing. And Jay is amazing with their English and everything. Like, they were just great. And, um, yeah. I just, like, loved it so much. And obviously, you guys will see, like, clips of the concert and everything, like... It was just wild. Um, I mean, I knew it was going to be a rave from the beginning. Like, if you've heard Day 6 songs, then you know, like, it was going to be a rave. So, like, there was a lot of jumping. There was a lot of going around. Um, and, yeah. Um, also, one thing that I want to say that was, like, super great was the security guys giving up water. Those guys were the real MVPs of this entire thing because, like, sometimes you just really needed some water and they were up at the barrier being like, who needs water? And that was great. So shout out to those guys because they were the real MVPs. Um, so, yeah, that was fun. And then, obviously, the high touch. Um, so, yeah, after the concert, like, we had to wait for high touch and, you know, it was kind of one of those things where you're sitting around for ages until, like, a line starts moving. And then once you get to the high touch, it's, like, super fast. Now, I've only ever had, like, one other high touch in my entire life, and that was when I was at KCON with Ely. And I'd never done one before, and I didn't really know what they were. And, like, I didn't really know what to say to her. So, like, whenever I did it, I didn't say anything. Um, but this time, I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to say to them? What am I going to say to them? Especially because there's more of them, so the high touch would be, like, a little bit longer. Um, I didn't really say anything to them either this time. I just said thank you because I didn't know what else to say. And I don't really know if they heard me, but they were just saying thanks back to everyone. They were just like, thank you for coming out. Um, and like, yeah, so 
Oh, I do, like, I'm trying to remember this because, like, it was really quick and kind of a blur. But Young K was first, and he just smiled at me with his smile and his eyes. Like, I swear, he literally, he looked into my soul. <laughs> so I had to get over that because Nyx was one pill and he's just like again he's like so cute and like <laughs> such a cinnamon roll with his like he has like such a soft voice and I just love it so much and so there was him and then after that it was Sungjin and like <sighs> Sungjin gives off this vibe to me as like someone who's like super cool and like like he just gives off like really good leader vibes as well like I know he is the leader of day six but he just gives off that really good vibe like an authoritative one or something so I felt like I wasn't even worthy to like high touch him <laughs> um if that makes sense and then Duon was kind of quick for me but he was really cute too and then obviously like Jay was at the end and like he was really sweet and yeah it just it was just over really quick and I wish that I had thought of more to say to them and things like that but like yeah the line was going super quick and security were just sort of shuffling everyone through to get it over with um and so yeah that is day six in a nutshell I'm really tired right now literally been awake since like 7 a.m um not really sure how tomorrow's gonna go because I feel like um, I'm not going to be able to walk, like, <laughs> my feet are sore, my knees are sore from standing so much, they're, like, really stiff, um, and then obviously I was, like, doing a lot of jumping around and stuff at the concert, so, like, maybe I'm just going to wake up tomorrow and not be able to move, but yeah, um, now I, the only thing left to do is, like, actually eat some real food, because, like, we did want to get breakfast this morning but it was like too early to eat for me so like I was like oh we'll just wait till we get back to the hotel after we get our wristbands um but then we didn't have enough time to like get anything of substance so we got like McDonald's which you know was like good at any time of the day but it was just like something to hold us over till after the concert um and so yeah food sleep then I gotta get up tomorrow because we are traveling back home um I really don't think I'm gonna vlog going back home because we're not doing anything if we actually actually if we end up going to King's Cross I'll like insert that into this vlog at some point but like aside from that we don't have any plans and it's literally just gonna be us traveling so I feel like I'm gonna end the video here um whether this is attached on to a different video or if this is a separate video I'm ending it here so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog series slash video of me in London for day six. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And let me know in the comments below who your favorite day six member is and also what your favorite day six song is. Currently, my favorite song by day six is Emergency. Uh, they didn't actually perform it this time, but I really do love that song. Um, other than that, obviously, I love Congratulations because it's just like a classic. Um, and, like, I really like all their, like, really hype, upbeat ones. So, like, Dance, Dance, and Ship Me, like, those ones um, are also a fave. Um, and so, yeah. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.